Hello, Cyclocross friends. It's Tuesday, December 31st, 2019, and you are tuned in to episode 15 of the Volley Apparel CX Heat Check Power Rankings, brought to you by Volley Premium Collections and Custom Apparel for Women and Men. U.S. made and built with pride and purpose for your best ride. Available exclusively at volley.com. That's V-O-L-E-R.com. In the immortal words of Kenneth Clark Loggins, this is it. The final CX heat check of the year before the Cray Jaguar supercomputer that we borrowed from the Oak Ridge National Laboratory to run the algorithm goes back to the Department of Energy for maintenance. We started the North American UCI cyclocross season in Roanoke, Virginia with GoCross and ended it across the country in Lakewood, Washington for U.S. Cyclocross Nationals. This final episode of the Heat Check is a look at the entire season in a determination of who are the top 11 men and top 11 women in North American cyclocross. As far as the European racing going on now, those results, for better or worse, have no bearing in Heat Check land. So let's get to it. And let's start with the women. In the 11th spot is Sunny Gilbert. She started the season with a bum wrap, or more accurately, a wrapped bum. But... Finish strong with podiums at Major Taylor and Ruts and Guts and a sixth place finish at CX Nats. In the 10th spot is Maddie Monroe, the Colorado Wunderkind. The 18 year old podiumed at the US Open, won a Pan Am and Nationals Championship jersey, and swept the 17 and 18 and Elite Colorado State Championships. More than enough to land Monroe at 10. In at 9th is Ruby West. The Canadians thought we were going to forget about them after not being invited to the USCX Nats party. But the heat check has always been about North America and West did work when she traveled south. Podium at Cincy, Supercross, an NBX, and a U23 Pan Am Championships gets West the 9 spot. Coming in at number 8 is Katie Klaus. A podium at Cincy, win it really rad, and two more national championship jerseys to go along with the 347 she already owns. Klaus is great at 8. Number seven in the CX heat check is Jen Jackson. She disappointed the heat check faithful by packing it in after Pan Am's. Disappointed! But couldn't shake that CX fever and came back for ruts and guts in resolution. A season highlighted by wins at Jingle Cross Friday Night Lights, a silver medal at Canadian Nats, and a win at PTBO CX has Jenny Jenny not at eight, or six, or five, or three, oh nine, but seven. In at six is Katie Keough. Her recent tough stint in Europe doesn't diminish a strong showing at Rochester and Jingle Day 3 and a 5th place finish at CX Nats. Which brings us to our top 5, and in the 5th spot is the champ, the 15-time US Cyclocross champ, Katie Compton. No longer in the Stars and Stripes, but Compton overcame a preseason injury to win at the US Open before heading to Europe. She came back to podium at CX Nats, G-O-A-T, the GOAT, in at number 5. And here we are at number four. And this one is kind of a no-brainer. Courtney McFadden already set the mark at Pan Am's recording her fourth, fourth place. And she kept the mojo alive at the home field CX Nats finishing, you know it, in fourth. Which means this pick was a slam dunk for the algorithm. McFadden finishes McFourth. The final three in the final CX heat check of the 2019 season is where the rubber hits the mud. Three names remain. Becca Farringer, Clara Hansinger, and Magalie Rochette. Farringer won 10 times, took the Pro CX, swept the Parkway Series, won the Victoria Series, and finished second at Cyclocross Nationals. Hansinger had six wins, stood on a World Cup podium, got second at Pan Ams, and dethroned Katie Evan Compton as U.S. National Champ. And Rochette. What has she done? Only won 14 times in the past 12 months, including a World Cup at Iowa City and so many North American wins, it's easier to list the events she didn't win. Waterloo World Cup and Fayette Cross Day 2. So how does this pan out? Rebecca, Clara, or Magali? Becky, the smiling assassin, or Mags? It's a tough call. So tough, we had to run the numbers multiple times. But in the end, Farringer is sliding in at third. Which means it comes down to Clara or Max, North or South, Canadian champ or US champ. Who is going to be the final number one in the CX Heat Check Power Rankings? Who? Who? Magli Rochette. That's who. One better than Hansinger at Pan Ams in the Iowa World Cup, along with a near flawless North American campaign, puts Rochette on the top step with Hansinger securely on the second step. 
while you take a look at the final top 11 and lament how an entire season of viewing CX Heat Check Power Rankings is coming to an end, we will move on to the men. And in the 11th spot, it's Lane Maher. A strong finish to the season with a sweep of NBX and winning the Victoria Series had Maher earning his $2 and finishing the season at number 11. $2. At number 10 is Eric Brenner. A win at the U.S. Open of Cross and a podium at Ruts and Guts were the precursors for two Stars and Stripes jerseys at CX Nats. One in the Men's Collegiate Club category and one as U23 National Champ. At number nine is Jamie Driscoll, the Dangler. A Pan Am podium along with good showings at the Silver Goose and Ruts and Guts got him on the charts. The Night Weasels Cometh win got him up to ninth. In eighth is Grant Elwood. Wide angle podium performances at the US Open, Cincy, and Pan Ams, and a top 10 at Nationals has Elwood in eighth. Elwood. At number seven in the final CXC Check Power Rankings is your boy Dizzle, Drew Dillman. A sweep of Major Taylor, third at Ruts and Guts, top 10 at Pan Ams, and six at Nationals has the Diz safely in at seven. Only six spots remain, so let us get to it. Lance Hayden from California is a cyclocross opportunist an opportunity Caesar, if you will. Lancey Pants grab wins at the US Open at Ruts and Guts before finishing fifth at Nationals. Michael Angiflo. And here we are at our top five. And in fifth place is Stephen Hyde. The three-time champ couldn't make it for this year, but he did win at DCCX and the Silver Goose and came in third in Lakewood for his fifth Nationals podium in a row. And his first fifth in the final CX Heat Check Power Rank. In fourth place is Michael Vanningham, our second favorite Canadian cyclocross racer. Another year as Canadian national champ, a win at PTBOCX, a win at Ruts and Guts, and a sweep at Resolution means we the North is more like Mike the Fourth. Which brings us to our top three. And like the rest of the season, this is where things get a bit dicey. Three names remain. Kerry Werner, Gage Hecht, and Curtis White. Werner has eight wins, a Pan Am jersey, and the Pro CX on his race resume this season. Curtis White has 10 wins and was the Pan Am and National Championship runner-up. Gage Hecht won a U23 Pan Am jersey, has no UCI Elite wins except the U.S. Cyclocross National Championship. An argument can be made for all three, but the heat check isn't about arguments. It's about answers. And the answer to who is in third place this week is Gage Hecht. He may be on the top step in the US, but he's on the third step of the CXE Check Power Ranking. And finally, your top two. Will it be Kerry Werner or Curtis White? They've been going back and forth all year, 20 times to be exact. And in that time, Werner has come out ahead 10 times and White has come out ahead 10 times. White beat Werner at nationals after the incident. Oh my God, they killed Kenny. But Werner took the Pan Am jersey in a thrilling finish over White. So, who gets it? Who's number one? And who is that guy? But yeah, like, like he said, who is number one? We miss you, Colt. In the CX Heat Check Power Rankings. It's Kerry Werner, which means that Curtis White, in a cruel but poetic twist, must settle for second spot. And there it is, the final CX Heat Check Power Rankings of the 2019 Cyclocross season. As you take a look at the top 11 men, I want to thank all of you for following along. It has been a blast to bring you the Volley Apparel CX Heat Check Power Rankings, and we are already looking forward to next year. Let us know your thoughts by using the hashtag, hashtag CX Heat Check. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and tell your Cyclocross friends to do the same. Also. Hit us up at feedback at cxhairs.com with your questions and your comments. And until next season, I'm Bill Scheichen for CX Hairs and the Wide Angle Podium Network. Talk to you soon, cyclocross friends.